hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be taking down my braids it is finally time to say goodbye i've only had them for about two weeks but i did a lot in those two weeks i was living my best life i was in a different country every day yes i was out here living but if you're interested keep on watching if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever i post a new video all right let's hop right into it so my mom actually did these braids for me and I'm super, super proud of her because it was her first time ever doing these type of braids in my hair and she did a really good job for her first time and um, yeah, they held up really, really well. They held up throughout the entire seven day cruise and, and now I'm just going to be taking them down. So it did actually take about, hmm, probably about six hours to do my entire head of hair we did it over the course of two days so three hours each day so it did take about six hours in total to do my entire head of hair and it took about 30 minutes for me to take down all of these braids so I only really needed about three products to maintain these braids throughout the entire trip. And that was an edge control, a dry shampoo, and like a shine serum. So I will link those products down below in the description box so you can check them out. But yeah, I was doing everything with this hair in my head. I literally was like going swimming. I was in a hot tub every day. Like I got all type of sand in my hair. Um, It was really, it was crazy because one day... I was in bed and literally just like sand was like coming out of my braids. So it was really, really crazy. I wish I could have had the hair in my head a little bit longer, at least a month. But yeah, it didn't work out that way. So I decided to go ahead and take them down. But protective styles like these are absolutely amazing if you are going on long trips or vacation. Um, I don't know how I would have been able to deal with my hair styling it every single day on that vacation. So these braids definitely came in handy. So I was super, super happy to be able to get to my scalp, to be able to scratch my head. Like it feels so good when you have braids in your hair for a long period of time and then you can finally take them out and get to your scalp and scratch your scalp. Uh, I was like in heaven. So after I took down all of my braids, I just took one of my favorite water bottles and I actually got a new one. These are by Seg Beauty and I love these water bottles because they have a continuous spray and it just gives you like an even spritz all around your hair. So I went ahead and sprayed my hair with some water and made sure I went ahead and massaged my scalp and really break up some of that dandruff and dry spots that I had in my scalp. As you guys know, my hair loves water. Water is like the number one source of hydration that I need for my hair. So spritzing a lot of water on my scalp really, really gets the job done when it comes to making my hair maintain moisture. And my hair actually did grow a little bit. So protective styles are definitely great if you're trying to grow out your hair. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is thoroughly cleanse my hair and my scalp. I have a recent video showing you guys exactly how I do it. And I definitely recommend to watch this video if you haven't already. It is very necessary to cleanse your scalp thoroughly if you have just gotten done with some type of protective style. I will link that video down below in the description box as well as you can click the icon on the screen. After I thoroughly cleanse my hair, I go ahead and put my hair in some twist and I will go to sleep like this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. If you hit the bell, the notifications will come straight to your phone. You can follow me on any of my social media at Miriam J. Hampton, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!